Magandang araw, pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay Properties of Operation on Integers. And we have Closure Property. Two integers that are added or multiplied will remain as integers. Closure Property of Addition. So, kapag meron tayong a plus b equals integer, ibig sabihin, ang a ay integer, ang b ay integer, dapat ang magiging sagot nito ay integer din. Example, 3 plus 7 equals 10. 3 is an integer, 7 is an integer, at 10 ay integer. Ibig sabihin, set of integers is close under addition. Now, let us have closure property of multiplication. So, a times b is equal to integer. Example, 3 times 7 equals 21. 3 is an integer. 7 is an integer. 21 is also an integer. Ibig sabihin, set of integers is close under multiplication. A set of integers close to subtraction, so a minus b, integer kaya ang, sasag ang sagot? Let's see. So 3 minus 7 equals negative 4. 3 is an integer. 7 is an integer. And negative 4 is an integer. Ibig sabihin, ang answer natin dito ay yes, a set of integers is close under subtraction. What about in division? Is set of integers close to division? So we have 3 divided by 7 equals 0 0.43. 3 is an integer. Yes, 7 is also an integer, but 0 0.43 is not an integer. So our answer here is no. Set of integers is not close under division. Now let us have commutative property. Changing the order of the addends or factor will not affect the result. Let us have commutative property of addition. So we have here a plus b equals b plus a. So we just change the order. Now let's see. Example, 3 plus 7 equals 7 plus 3. So we interchange 7 and 3 here. So 3 plus 7 is 10. And 7 plus 3 is also 10. Are they equal? Correct. They are equal. Though we change the order meaning set of integers is commutative under addition commutative property of multiplication so again we change the order of the factors example 3 times 7 equals 7 times 3 the product of 3 and 7 is 21 and the product of 7 and 3 is also 21. Are they equal? Correct. They are equal. Meaning, set of integers is commutative under multiplication. What about in subtraction? Now, let us have an example. 3 minus 7 equals 7 minus 3. The difference between 3 and 7 is negative 4. And the difference between 7 and 3 is 4. Are they equal? Correct. They are not equal. So our answer here is no. Set of integers is not commutative under subtraction. Meaning, Changing order of the addends affect the result. Next, what about in division? 3 divided by 7 equals to 7 divided by 3. 
the quotient of 3 and 7 is 0 0.43, while the quotient of 7 and 3 is 2.33. Are they equal? No. So our answer here is no. Set of integers is not commutative under division. Now let us have associative property. So ito naman, changing the groupings of the addends or factors will not affect the result. Now let us have associative property of addition. So here we use bases. Ibig sabihin, yun muna ang unang ipe-perform natin na operation. So unahin muna natin sa left side ang sum ng B and C. On the other one, we have to perform first the operation of A plus B. Now, let us have an example. 3 plus 7 plus 1. And then, we have the quantity of 3 plus 7 plus 1. So, here, unahin natin ang 7 plus 1. Sa left side, the answer is 8. And then, sa right side, unahin natin ang 3 plus 7. And that is... 10. Next, we get the sum of 3 and 8. The answer is 11. In the right side, we have 10 plus 1. The answer is 11. Are they equal? Correct. They are equal. Next, let us have associative property of multiplication. Again, we have to perform first the factor with the grouping. So, example, 7 times 1 muna. That is 7. On the other side, we have 3 times 7. That is 21. And let us see. 3 times 7 is 21. And in our right side, 21 times 7 is 21. Are they equal? Correct. They are equal. Now, let us have distributive property. So, for any integers A, B, and C. So, simply, we have to multiply A times B and the answer is AB. And also, A times C the answer is AC. Now, let us have an example. So, 3 times 7 and 3 times 1. So, using the groupings, we have 7 plus 1 is 8. Then, just copy 3. 3 times 7 is 21. And 3 times 1 is 3. So, 3 times 8 is 24 and 21 plus 3 is equal to 24 also. Now let us have identity property. So we have identity property of addition. 0 added to any number is the given number. Example, a plus 0, the answer is a. 7 plus 0, the answer is 7. 11 plus 0, the answer is Okay, now let us have identity property of multiplication. For the here, 1 multiplied to any number is the given number. Example, 1 times a equals to a. 1 times 7, the answer is 7. And 11 times 1 is 11. Now let us have this one, inverse property. Okay, so we have here, Additive inverse property, the sum of any number and its additive inverse is 0. So, the additive inverse of A is negative A. The additive inverse of negative A is A. And the additive inverse of 7 is negative 7. The additive inverse of Negative 11 is positive 11. Again, the sum of any number and its additive inverse is 0. 
So a plus negative a is equal to 0, negative a plus a. The answer is 0, 7 plus negative 7. The answer is 0. And negative 11 plus its additive inverse, which is 11, the answer is 0. Next, multiplicative inverse property. The product of any number and its multiplicative inverse is 1. So meaning, a times 1 over a, the answer is 1. 7 times 1 over 7, the answer is 1. Negative 3 times 1 over negative 3 is equal to 1. And 1 fourth times 4, the answer is 1. So here, in our first example, the multiplicative inverse of A is 1 over A. The multiplicative inverse of 7 is 1 over 7. While the multiplicative inverse of negative 3 is 1 over negative 3. And the multiplicative inverse of 1 fourth is 4. Next, zero property of multiplication. According here, the product of any number and zero is zero. 8 times zero is zero. 7 times zero is zero. Zero times 11 is zero. Negative three times zero is equal to zero. So remember, one factor here is zero. Next, let us have practice exercise. Identify the property that justifies the statement. So for letter A, 15 plus negative equals negative 8 plus 15. Our answer here is correct. Commutative property of addition. So changing the order will not affect the sum. Letter B, the correct answer is Additive inverse property. Letter C is zero property of multiplication. D is we have here the grouping, so our answer is associative property of multiplication. And the last one is correct distributive property. Thank you for watching.